Hello guys and girls, we are here and we are looking to see about dispelling a new rumour that's flying about everywhere um, that seems to be talked about on a regular basis by a fair few people so it might actually be true and it's the apparent godlike buff that's been applied to the T11 OE5 American Heavy Tier 10 tank. So I thought, well, I have one in my garage, I am want to try and see how things actually play out. I thought, well, might as well see how it goes and see if people are actually legit in what they're saying. So, here we are, playing on Cliff, and we're going to see whether this is actually true or not. Uh, one thing we are going to be hoping for, as is the case with any of the videos I tend to make, whether everything can actually get played in one match. So this is my first game. What I'm looking to try and do is put the tank in stupid situations whereby it's up front and actually see whether it's capable of being able to take the punishment that people say it can, but also at the same time, see if it can't take the punishment. Whether I can go downstairs, make a brew, come back, and my tank is still alive, or whether I'd blink and then my tank's been obliterated in a nuclear blast by seven different tanks shooting at me. So let's go and see what happens. As is the case with uh, Cliff, what I'm going to be doing is going around the back and I'm going to really, really hope that some of the other tanks on their team do the same. I really want to put this tank in the middle and actually see what happens. And, well, we'll see what happens as it is. Going up, I'm still going to be taking into account what's happening. Uh, going in and around, we're just going to speed up because it's kind of a bit of a boring moment, just travelling to where I need to be. I'm looking, I'm thinking, okay, I can see some T57s going around there, they're both platooned, don't really see anything else that's going around, but we'll see what happens. And the first thing I come across is the uh, T54 medium, uh, the one before the T57 heavy, relatively okay. He's going to bounce on me anyway, so I can't really take that into account. Um, he's not really that much of a good tank, and it's very unlikely he's going to have any premium lo rounds loaded, so I can get a couple of shots into him, some decent damage and hits, some really good accuracy, especially with the vertical stabilizers on. And now we get to the good part. I'm coming across both the T57 autoloaders, so not only do I get the opportunity to see whether they can pen my lower front plate, and they certainly won't be aiming for that cupola, but they'll be firing loads and loads of shots, so I get to see it's a bouncing central. Now don't forget the T57 isn't exactly like the perfect tank to be using against such a heavily armed tank because the E5 will bounce on a regular basis anyway, but this is like heaven. I literally have so many tanks in front of me, and already I know that I bounced a fair few shots. And with them being auto loaded, I can be slightly more aggressive than uh, what I need to be. And it's just wow. Um, yeah, there's quite a big change in this tank. Albeit the people aren't aiming for my cupola, just because it's quite a difficult spot to hit anyway, especially in the the T57. You really want to be aiming at the proper weak spots with it because you can generally get some decent hits. But it is bouncing loads and loads of shots over and over again, I'm like, okay, I mean, yeah, the T57 isn't the best tank to be using because it does get trolled by RNG on a regular basis, but wow, was there any need to do this to the E5? I mean, it, it feels like I'm a brick wall that is reinforced with steel barbs and more concrete and, I don't know, like, moon dust, something like that, it's Just it just seems to, yeah, I mean, he got kind of lucky with that one, bloody upper front plate, but yeah, Wow, um, I did lose quite a bit of my health, but still, there was so many tanks all shooting at me, and they were just, no. Oh, hmm. This has turned into uh, quite a different tank. Unfortunately, the E100 down there doesn't make it too easy for me to carry on pushing around, so I'm not too interested in seeing if I want to go around. But yeah, uh, I'm, okay. So this got me thinking. So if I'm able to take this into battle and not play it as a medium as I was before, because it, it's speed... It's tendency to low roll like 350 on occasions, which you will see later on. And it's ease of being killed. I say that because there were times when I would get penned in the lower front plate relatively easily. Not so much by premium rounds, but just overall. Okay, so this is a, a new way of playing the tank. It has to be an upfront brawler. Um, ignore the fact that the actual footage itself has been kind of screwed up because of the way it's encoded or the uh, capture guard being absolutely retarded. But... I ended up moving back round the side of the cliff and coming round to the front because I again I want to take on targets but I don't want to specifically take on just tier 9 ones I want to be taking on some big boys the tanks that I'm going to be coming across on a regular basis so I have a full health object 140 I know the E100s who's doing whatever E100 does and sit back on the base and finally the T54 went up the top of the hill he gets a couple of decent shots but then he does bounce on my turret on the top bar I was like oh my god what the what's going on with this tank it's like I've been playing a bit of Star Trek lately and it's almost as if I've got some kind of force field shield magnetic repellent 
that's just taking rounds and pushing them back into orbit. And there's not exactly a massively armoured point of the tank, and it still seems to bounce, and they're shooting from above. I'm like, what? What's going on here? I'm genuinely shocked. I know this is only one game, but most of the times that this has been happening, in terms of the shots that have been bouncing, I know that they would have penned in previous occasions, maybe back when I played it a couple of a couple of months ago, they would have definitely have gone in. I don't know, would definitely expect that a shot that coming in through the top would pen me and not bounce, regardless of how poor the guy, guy's aim is. If it's hit me and I saw it, it should actually pen me. So now we get to the point of, okay, I want to see how well people aim at my cupula because I want to expose it and again, show it to be something whether it's going to be capable of hits or not. The only problem at the moment is the E100 is sort of being an E100 sitting as far back as possible and he's always firing his uh, high explosive at me which um, I couldn't tell whether he was doing it because he knew the copula was that strong or he was doing it because he wasn't very smart but I don't know it's the way the cookie crumbles so I think well I'll try and take him out but uh, with the E100 being the E100 it does bounce on a regular basis and uh, me trying to rush my shot doesn't really help so I'm, I'm again only trying to expose my copula I want people to find normal rounds rather than high explosive because I just want to actually see if it does bounce. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be that anyone is capable of hitting it with regular rounds. Um, the object isn't too keen on coming forward because of the people around. So it, it doesn't perfectly illustrate its potential power to reject any sort of round. Um, possibly premium are going to be a bit of a queryable aspect because uh, it's just YOLO. See, that's the damage roll I'm on about, 350 with a premium, and it's left him with 5 HP, so go fuck yourself, RNG. Um, I do end up getting the last last shot on him, um, albeit with a bouncing primo round, because, again, I don't know, Neil deGrasse Tyson in physics, it just seems to happen just to me and then other people. But yeah, overall, the, the way the tank is played is... Um, it's less of a medium medium heavy, it's definitely more of a frontline brawler. And if you can put yourself in a position behind cover and have people aim at the copula, I will fully presume that you'll get end, end up getting games like this. 6,000 damage, but wow. The block damage is 6,300. I mean, what the hell? So uh, it turns out to be that the OP buff is OP and is 100% confirmed. So if you like this video, don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe. And if you do, share it around and share around the OP goodness. Doji meme for the win.